Hi everyone, on part 10, which is officers and trustees of the annual report, I just wanted to go over some of our tips. So as you can see, I'm on the part 10 officers and trustees tab, and the tips are here. Um, the first one being listing trustees moving forward. The, the report doesn't wanna know who your trustees were in the previous year, unlike a lot of the other data on the annual report. It is more useful for you know, the state and for, for the systems and everything to know who your trustees are moving forward. So as of February 1st and on, who your trustees were are, are going to be in the future. Um, also terms ending and beginning. Um, we find a lot of uh, just counting issues. Um, so if a trustee has a three-year term, that means they start in January of the first year, but they don't end in January three years later number-wise, they would end in December of the third year. So for instance, January 2020 to December 2022. So just be careful about putting your, your term dates. Additionally, um, that term information shouldn't conflict with the term information from a prior annual report year. If you've got any questions, you know, look at your previous year and make sure that those terms match. Um, Okay, the next one, that there must be a record for each voting position. So if you have five seats on your board, but only four of them are filled, then you would, you would make a fifth um, uh, record that just says vacant in the, in the reporting. Then the last thing, now this is only for public libraries and not association libraries. But if you're a public library, you just want to make sure that you have your oath of office, um, not just completed, but that information recorded in the annual report. So otherwise, this is a very simple section. Um, it's not difficult. It's just, you know, making sure that you have phone numbers and emails and things like that for trustees.